The start of Season 3 has been nothing short of remarkable, as we were able to score some of the first turns up at Jupiter at Park City, and even managed to catch a Bluebird Heli Day with Powderbirds. As January rolls on, we made the 4.5 hour trek north to Jackson, Wyoming, where we had a pretty mellow day at Jackson Hole Mountain Resort. Welcome back to another episode of season three. We are on episode three of season three and I am up here in Jackson, Wyoming. Well, I made the trip up here last night after work. I got in around like 10 o'clock, 1030 and my sister actually lives up here. So I was able to sleep in the parking lot of her apartment complex, which was really nice because parking in Jackson can be especially tough um, in the winter time. So it should be a bluebird weekend, which can never really complain about that. And for whatever reason, I'm like, just even more excited to ski today than I than I have them usually. And I heard Corbett's Coulard is open, so uh, maybe we will get into that. Thank you guys for the support on the channel. The recent videos um, truly, truly means a lot to me. A lot of people were saying I didn't really have the right lenses for low light conditions and stuff like that. So I reached out to Chuck um, because he was in town. He's the owner of Zipline. And he basically hooked me up with um, four new lenses. So now I have, or let me put you guys down. An actual low light lens that's not mirrored or anything. So this is just a straight up yellow lens. This is just a clear one, which I've always wanted a clear lens um, in case you ever do night skiing or I don't know, maybe if it's super low light, you would even go to a clear lens. This is like a rose one or it's like a, I don't know, kind of like a pink one. This might be another low light sort of lens. And I have this more mirrored chrome one, which is obviously more for sun and stuff like that. So anyways, um, he definitely hooked me up. So I got um, four new lenses. They're all just magnets, so it's super easy to change. I've been using Zipline stuff for five seasons now, really before I even had a YouTube channel or anything like that. I just really like their product. Chuck is a really great guy. He supports a lot of the World Cup mogul athletes. So if you're interested, check them out at ziplineski.com. But I figured I'd share share the new stuff with you guys. I'm not gonna brag, but just, just showing you guys. That's what it is, potatoes, bacon, eggs. I don't think anyone does it better. <clears throat> not bragging, not bragging at all. Just letting you guys know, this is what we're working with this morning, okay? So, yeah. A side note, this is one of the only places, I think, the only resort that still requires reservations. So I had to go online my Icon Pass and reserve Saturday and Sunday. And it's also a blackout weekend. I forgot that it's Martin Luther King weekend, so there's actually blackout dates, but because we have the full ICOM and stuff, it doesn't really apply to us. And I wanted to share that Jackson's the only place that still has reservations. from the tram recommend for skiers with expert abilities only so anytime you'd like to ride the tram back down we've got one for you every 10 minutes last tram departs the top dock at 3 30 each day due to hidden obstacles use caution out there avoid all closed area signs with every safety violators will lose their love privileges there's mountain host up top here if you do have any questions or concerns ski patrol also located at the top of the tram bridge are gone left on left if you are considering exiting the resort into the backcountry certainly have the proper knowledge Equipment partner and plan. Otherwise, if you don't know, don't go. Oh. 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 
culverts is still closed this morning. I'm not sure if it's just because of snow quality and like the firmness of it, but there was a few patrol here that kind of checked it out, but then left pretty quickly. So right now, as of like 10, 11 in the morning, it is closed. I think we're just gonna uh, maybe do like a rendezvous and then down into the Hobacks or something, just get a nice long, really long run here. Oh, it's a little bit icy and firm. conditions but just getting warmed up you know wow oh it's icy really icy oh. a burner holy what's that we need sun well now it's frozen if it would have been you know the sun and creamy it'd be fine but morning it's frozen from the night it feels like everyone around us seems to know but it's more or less just enjoying the view. Absolutely beautiful. Chill day out on the mountain. We're at the Alta Chutes off the sublet chair. It looked pretty gnarly. Snow is a little scratchy, so conditions are interesting. Compression fracture. That was good. That was a lot more. I open. did. What happened? Compression fracture. 
<laughs> what did you drop off something? I had to. Mandatory I, rock drops. Fucking gnarly under pressure in the lift line. I was like, oh boy. I didn't see the I'm going down. Head. And I just heard it pop. Oh shit, that's not you. That's it. <laughs> I'm done. Well, after playing around like on the left side of the mountain a little bit, we want to try to get over to the right side. And it's not really like an easy way from where we were over on Sublet, so we're gonna take the headwall hike that kind of gets us over to like the middle part of the mountain then. And there we'll be see Casper Bowl, stuff like that, and get over um, to like Opere Vu or something like that. I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but this is a cool hike. It closes in about an hour or so, but we might get a bunch of, um, sort of sun, sun beat and snow on this face, but I don't have my, my other backpack to clip my skis on, unfortunately, so we're just gonna throw them over the shoulder and get going. And I'm gonna fight for you. They better start hiding. We'll be running with the lions, lions. We'll be running with the lions, lions. All right, I can't really see, but we made it up here to the top of the Casper headwall. And I mean, just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. You're gonna come to Jackson and the views are gonna be this clear. It's hard to have a bad day. The skiing so far has been a little bit so-so, just it's really skied up, big moguls. But I mean, when a day is this beautiful, it's hard to, to complain. So just surrounded by the Tetons and we got a little hike under our belts, got the sweat going. So highly recommend the Casper headwall Especially if you don't hike a lot, it's not really a steep or a long hike, and it's basically just boot packed the whole way up. So, definitely we'll recommend. With the lions, lions. That looks pretty good. Three, two, one. Let's go. Wow. Oh, it's nice. Kind of like un untracked a little bit. A little crusty. Did you get into it? Careful. Joe, is that all the cliff? Yeah. Well, that actually wasn't that bad. It was way better up at the top. And then as we got lower, kind of turned into that heavy. Sweet little, I, sweet little hit. Yeah. I think. It was good up top, yeah. but then it kind of got really more crusty. But. Awesome. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> 
I'm at arguably one of my most favorite places that I've ever been, and that's just the Tetons. It's just so beautiful. It's hard to hard to really describe until you actually just see them. And so whenever I'm up here, no matter summer or winter, I always make a point to at least spend some time just looking at the mountains. And a bit nostalgic, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, because really the first ski video I made that got some traction that, you know, kind of, I think in a way kickstarted the channel, and I'm sure, um, you know, as one of the reasons maybe you as a viewer is here. Um, <clears throat> and this is where I came on that first video. So it's just, uh, that was about a year ago. I think it was around the beginning of January. So it's kind of crazy to see how far we've come in a year in terms of the growth of the channel and just sort of the production of the videos and really just who I am as a person, which I think is the most important thing. So it's kind of a, uh, a nostalgic, sappy sort of moment being here up in the uh, the Tetons because it's just, uh, I don't know, come a long way. So I made some hot cocoa, I was shooting some film photos, and I'm really just enjoying the evening here until the, the sun comes down. It's absolutely freezing though, as always, but it's uh, just really beautiful. I mentioned it earlier this morning, but my sister has a condo here, kind of around Jackson area. And so I'm going here for dinner, which is dope because that means I don't need to cook. I don't need to do the dishes and all that sort of stuff. So I got the van all dialed in, heater, all that sort of stuff. So hopefully when we're done here, she should just be able to get, get all nice and cozy because it's supposed to be like negative two tonight. So pretty cold. Good morning. You have a pair of players in the truck. What? You have a pair of pliers in your hand. We're gonna roll up. Oh, like needle nose? No, definitely not needle nose. I want what I, I want. It's not needle nose, okay? Okay. Seems like my dad is doing some sort of project and he needs pliers. And I keep a bunch of tools in the boxes of the van in the back that you guys see, so I might have some pliers back there. Six or 
for seven episodes now, maybe six, have been like really great conditions, like pow days, stuff like that. Um, just really good snow. And I feel like today we kind of broke that streak and it was just more like, it was more just a, a normal day or a more common day at a resort. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys again for the incredible support on the channel recently. So I, I really, really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment if you want. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take it easy, fam. Peace out. We'll be running with the lions, lions.